Have you ever wanted to go live on Facebook? You have no idea where is the right place to do so, what to do, what to say, and what I really need? Well, this video is for you. This is all about how to go live on your mobile device on Facebook. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Nicole Riley, and I'm the creator of Learn To Go Live. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so the next time I publish a new video, you get notified. So the first thing you will need to know and figure out for yourself is what is the purpose of my live video on Facebook? Am I going live on my personal page, on my Facebook business page, or my Facebook group? There's three different ways how you can go live. You can also go live in an event, but we're not gonna cover that right now. So remember, you can only sell things via your business page or a group. You cannot sell on your personal profile. That is against Facebook's terms of conditions. So be aware of that. Don't use your personal profile in order to sell things through live camera. So now if you wanna go live with your friends, let me show you how to do that. So here you can see, I just turned on my phone. That's just my feed on my Facebook profile. You know, everyone's feed looks different, but you can see on the top left there, you see my profile picture and that's where it says, what's on your mind? And right underneath, you can see the button live. So if I click right there, it brings up this screen. Let me hold it this way so I don't see up my nostrils because by the way, that's not a good idea. It's always great to hold your phone up high, right? Or eye level. You don't want to be underneath, okay? Now, the other thing you want to make sure of is you're stable somewhere. So it's not great to hold your phone, but you actually want to put it somewhere so it doesn't fall over and it doesn't look wiggly like this, right? But of the purpose of this video, I'm just going to hold it for now and I'll show you what you need to do in order to go live. So you can see on the top left here, it tells you that the post is public. You can change it to a group. You can change it to your friends and you can accept, um, you can um, remove people you don't want to have on your life. Um, and then it tells me that there is 52 people of my friends are live right now. So they will likely get a notification when I go live on my personal profile. I can also on the bottom, you can see it has filters. So I can add filters to it in order to go live. So you can also uh, see, you can change the background. You can add kind of a different feel to it, right? So you can add that as well. And if you wanna remove it, just click on the very left one. There's different versions on the bottom, such as, you know, frames, sparkly things, things you put on your face, um, you know, some kind of other things. And on the bottom right corner is at least on a iPhone. I don't know if it shows on an Android. Some people have told me that an Android doesn't show that. So you can see on the bottom right is the settings one. You can change whether you want it brighter. So you can see here, I can add a little bit brighter and can turn that back off. And I can also switch my camera around and I can flip it, right? So horizontal and vertical. Now, if I click that away, I can also turn the camera by on the top left corner next to the X, you can see there's a camera where you can switch it around. So if I switch it around, you can see here is my table, right? And so you can do that as well. So if you wanna show someone something else, you can do that. You can even turn on the um, light so that you have a little bit more lighting. You add a nice description to it. You have some other features such as a donate button or you turn off notifications and um, everything else is all that. Now, then you just click start live and then you go live. Remember that the personal profile is for anything personal. So you shouldn't be selling on that profile. This is really just if you wanna test things out, if you really, really wanted to. You can also go live in a group. So I have here on the bottom, you can see my group 
picture and you can go to any group right uh, i have plenty of groups here here's one of my groups and i can click the live button as you can see it right here and then i can go live over here you can see i have the exact same features just that the only people who see that live are in that group they have to be members of that group all the other features are exactly the same thing that i just talked about you can also go live on a page. It is ideal to have a testing page first. So I actually have a testing page right here. No one is following that page. So I can test things out like, how does it sound like? How does it look? Am I too wiggly on the camera? Because when you go live and you talk to the camera, sometimes you don't see certain things. So it's ideal to have a testing page to test things out so you can see how it really looks like for your audience. So this page has absolutely no followers. So you can actually just go live from here. So you click the publish button right there. And then if you scroll down, you can see it has live videos. Again, the exact same features appear than your personal profile or in your group as you have it here on the page. Exactly the same ones, just the only ones who see this, this live is people who follow your page or if people are sharing that video, then they can also see that specific live. All the other features are exactly the same. So a live video on Facebook can be a certain amount of time. Now, Facebook seems to be changing that a number of hours quite often or things change all the time. It depends on whether it's your personal profile, is it your page? At the time of this video, certain pages can go up to eight hours live on a business page. That can be different in a group or your personal profile. So you have to check it out. Now, this video only focuses on how to do it on a mobile device because I suggest that everyone starts easy. You don't need special equipment or special software, special lighting in order to go live. Simply grab your phone, put it in front of a window, have it somehow stable so you're not holding it and you have both of your hands to be able to use during that live video. Then test it out on a testing page and see how it sounds like and how it is. It is important not to have a script and be personal. Have a reason why you go live on a specific platform. In this case, it's Facebook, but you got to decide where you go on live and what's your purpose. You can schedule live ahead of time only on desktop for now. You can't schedule a live ahead of time on mobile. Be real when you go live. Don't hesitate. Don't feel like people are judging you. They aren't. They just want to see you and they want you to talk to them as if you are their friend. In order to trust you, a person needs to be real. So don't have a script. It's ideal to have some kind of bullet points in front of you so that way you can go through them one by one and you can stay on track. Check out what the comment section is saying. Communicate with them just like you would if you're at the party and you happen to see your friends. Just be who you are. It is totally fine to mess up, to have something happen and be real. A video on Facebook that is done as a live video can be there forever until it's deleted or expired. Don't do anything inappropriate on a live video. Facebook can always remove it because they have AIs that allow them to listen to a video that is going live. There's typically a 20 to 45 second gap between you talking and them hearing it. That allows the AI to listen to what you're saying. So don't do or say anything inappropriate or anything that might raise some flags and have your account or personal profile maybe deleted. So just be aware of what you're doing and so you're not getting in trouble. I hope this video was helpful to you. You can watch other videos on how to go live on a different platform on my YouTube channel. So be sure to check those out. Now, if you've never gone live before and you need kind of a little bit of a to-do list and what not to do list, then check out my link in the description. I have a freebie for you that you can download so you have something on your hand so you can kind of keep track of things so you know exactly how to prepare for your very first live video. Be sure to like, comment and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the little bell so you get a notification the next time I publish a new video. Until then, bye.